So here we go. So I don't want you to take this too lightly. So solar eclipse glasses are important. They're not the same as sunglasses, mm. okay? These are made of black polymer or sil uh, silvery mylar, okay? Silvery mylar, okay? They transmit one millionth of the sun's visible light. It's really important. They need to be uh, this compliant glass. It has to be an ISO 12312-2 compliant, okay? can be taken off. Now, during totality, and in Dallas, we have a little less than four minutes of totality. In Fort Worth, you have about two and a half minutes of totality. So during that brief period of time, during totality, you can take them off because the sun's going to be covered. Before that and after that, you have to leave them on. It's a very, very brief moment, a couple of minutes, when you can actually take the glasses off and it's safe to do so at that point, but you must put them back on immediately after totality ends, if not maybe a few moments before, okay? Now here's my forecast. Two weeks from today is when this will take place, Monday the 8th. And listen, I, I know you all get this. We have a 14 day forecast, but we've been doing it for quite a while now, but things can change. Easter, for example, okay? On Easter, for the last week, I've been saying there's a low chance of rain on Easter. The storm system has slowed down. It's taken a little different path. Now, at this point, it looks like Easter is going to be dry. So take that into consideration when you're looking at this forecast. Right now, the partial eclipse begins. Now, this is at DFW as the center point. The partial eclipse begins at 1223 uh, on the afternoon of Monday, April 8th, 68 degrees. We've got a lot of clouds around and there's a low chance of rain. The total eclipse will hit totality that lasts about four, depending on where you are. Remember, Fort Worth is a little less, Dallas is a little more, east of Dallas it's even a little bit more, but about four minutes, okay? Uh, 70 degrees of temp, that doesn't really matter as much as the, the rain chance and the sky cover. When the eclipse, the partial eclipse ends, uh, 302 in the afternoon, Still that low chance of rain, quite a bit of cloud cover around temperature 72. Of course, over the next 13 days, we'll refine that forecast to keep you updated. But as of now, that's the latest. At this point, we have nothing more than a couple of clouds around. There's midnight tonight. Look at that. Clear skies. It's going to be a cold night tonight for many locations. I mentioned that at the beginning of the newscast. We're looking at lows tonight. I have one minute left. Lows tonight, look at these 30s up here. We'll have some spots, certainly we'll, we'll drop, you know, and Denton's one of the cold spots. We'll have a number of locations up along the Red River that could certainly drop to 32 degrees, but middle 30s up there, 41 in Dallas, 40 in Fort Worth, 37 in Waxahachie, and uh, this is the area that could see some patchy frost, so it's a tender vegetation alert tonight. It's still, I keep telling you, it's a little too early to, to do your planning. I know all of us want to get out and do it, but then we, you know, last week we had a night like tonight. Tonight we're having another one of those. So 41's the official low, a, cool, a clear night, a breezy night, a chilly night. The next 14 days, there it is, uh, 61 and sunshine tomorrow. And then look at that. We warm up to 71 on Thursday. It's the home opener for the world champion, Texas Rangers. Uh, Good Friday, 77. Saturday before Easter, 80. Easter Sunday, a lot of clouds in 83. Maybe, maybe we bring a low chance of rain back in. 87 on Monday. Here's when the rain comes back in. Tuesday and Wednesday, we're dry Thursday and Friday. Saturday, 75. And then there's my forecast again for the, the total eclipse on Monday, April 8th.